Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, me918. Today another episode of the Celtic Transfer Talk. It's Friday, so why not? And how fitting that yesterday Celtic actually secured their second signing of the season. We'll move on to that in a minute, but this is like the fourth or fifth Celtic Transfer Talk since the start of the new season. So things are going well. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Uh, the support on this little series is great. Also, thank you for the support. People who watched my live stream yesterday, it was just like a kind of live Q&A, kind of sit down, just discussion with myself. I'll be doing more of them. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to try and make that a weekly thing. So if you were there, then um, I hope you enjoyed it. It is up on the channel, but it's two hours long. So um, if you didn't watch it, then I understand why. Anyway, let's head into the Celtic transfer stuff. As what's today, today's video is about this one I always say this every week and then it goes on for about 12 minutes but um, this one might not be as long uh, as usual hold on am I recording my audio I'm off thank god I thought I wasn't there I was about to kill myself um, this one might not be as long as usual though because there's actually nothing to talk about on the outsides of things for my thumbnail I struggled to decide what to do so uh, we'll talk about that in a minute so We've made our second sign of the season, let's start with that, the elephant in the room, Ken Dai Benyu from Ipswich Town, the 19 year old Englishman has signed for Celtic, um, I know nothing about him, never seen him play, he spent last season on loan to a non-league side Aldershot Town but he was highly sought after, the way he's been described as a, a box to box midfielder, I've heard people say he's the next Wanyama and I hope so, he was sought after by many big teams, Chelsea, Tottenham and the like I was hearing we're in for him, and he's chosen to play for Celtic. So, massive there. Um, but if he's that sort of after, he must be quite talented for his age. So, a 19-year-old, that's Ken Dai Benyu, you've all, obviously all heard. He has been brought in. I, don't, I want to really know. I want to know what his role at the club is actually going to be. Um, because we've got a lot of centre mids now. Uh, and and he's, kind of, he's came in, he's the same kind of age as Kouassi Abui. And he never got a look in last season. So I don't know if this Ken Dai Benyu character is, is going to get a look in this season. I really want to know what's going to happen there. We might loan him out. Who knows? Uh, we have got a lot of centre mids now though. You think about it. We've got Brown. We've got McGregor. We've got Benyu. We've got Abue. Uh, we've got Baton. They're just five main players straight away to talk about. And especially we spent big money on a QAC Abue not long ago. So where does Benyu come into things? Is he going to get played? Well, only, uh, time will only tell, I suppose. But if he is the next one, yeah, that would be great. I believe the fee is just a developmental fee. I think he was running out of contract. So 500 grand, I suppose. Not bad at all. I don't know if there's an official fee. Because I do believe it was because it was the end of his contract. So if you do know a fee, then uh, let me know. But we have managed to pick up a second signing of the season. And hopefully that won't be things done. Hopefully uh, Brendan will be dipping into the transfer market. And bringing in a few more players. Whether that is before or after the Linfield tie. The Linfield game should be fairly easy. Fairly straightforward. So we shouldn't require too many big signings. Or too many transfers heading in to that match. Anyway, that is that, is that for that last season actually. Just talking about I've got it down. Um, where is it? Ben, you last season. Season for Aldershot, he scored 5 in 22 appearances, so he's got goals in him in 22 appearances for 19 year old, 5 goals is very nice, and I think, honestly, when, as time goes on, we should be looking forward to seeing this guy, um, I, I, same with Kouassi Abu, I want to see them both get a shot, but you know, it's very difficult to get in over the likes of Brown, Armstrong, McGregor, uh, hopefully this year they will, they'll get a glimpse of the first team though. Move on to the second um, situation transfer-wise. Uh, apparently Celtic have had a bid submitted for Barry Douglas, a Scottish left-back, former Dundee United player. So he's had experience in the league before. He's had experience playing at Scotland's top level. And he's spent the past few seasons uh, playing in Turkey for, what is it, Korea's Korea Sport or something like that, I can't pronounce the Turkish team names, but he has spent the last season or two there, before that played for a Polish side, Polish first division side, and before that of course as I said Dundee United, so he's a homeboy, he's from, Sc a homeboy, fucking hell, it, homegrown you know what I mean, um, from Scotland, from Glasgow in fact actually, Barry Douglas, uh, I, I, he's got experience, in, uh, not internationally, I don't think he's actually played for Scotland's team, but you know what I mean, I mean internationally by, he's played in other countries, he's got a firm understand understanding of some other top tier divisions, I think he could do a job coming in to be a backup for Kieran Tierney, the question is, do we really need him with Emilio and Kieran Tierney there, um, maybe not because obviously we can have players like Calvin Miller step in and play left back like he did last season, it's not a major priority, there's been no price tag that I've actually seen for this guy, this uh, Barry Douglas, um, but 
I think it would be smart to bring him in. He's a bit younger than Emilio Izaguirre. Um, and if, say, Tierney goes out with injury again, we also have that other kind of first-team option. Or or even Izaguirre, if he went out with injury. I think it'd be a smart signing, depending on the price. But it ha- it, last season, he has very impressive stats, to be honest. Last season, for a left-back, 31 appearances in the Turkish First Division with five assists, which shows he, he, he can do stuff up and down the wing. And his last season in Scotland, which was 2012-13 to 13 for Dundee United, he scored one goal and got 10 assists and 31 appearances and that's how he got that move over to the Polish First Division he had a fantastic uh, season that year in the SPL for Dundee United so if he could do it for them I'm sure he could do a job for us I don't see him getting into the team over Kieran Tierney probably not in a million years but he has got he has got playmaking qualities in him if he can get 10 assists with Dundee United from a left back that is that is great and I think he would be a smart pick up for Celtic if we do get him obviously nothing's really official I've been I read this all online remember and I just bring what I hear to you the rumours wise um, uh, so apparently a bid has been submitted and we'll see how things go with that moving on to the next thing Anton Rogers, I think we actually discussed in the last video uh, has been brought in on trial to Celtic not much to say you should all probably know about this by now Anton Rogers is Brendan Rogers son uh, on trial with Celtic for the pre-season tour had a bit of a look into the team there sorry about the dog barking had a bit of a look in uh, against the dog's just interrupting my video wow cheers banjo um, had a bit of a look in uh, in the friendly match the other day there and apparently wasn't too bad the question is should we really spend money on him for another central midfielder um, should we really spend money I don't know uh, maybe there's a, I think there's a lot of people just you know looking at the aspect that he's bending on just son um, I don't think we should personally spend money on him just my point of view we'll see how it goes if he plays very well then maybe so the last couple of things don't necessarily concern transfers for this video the first thing is Stuart Armstrong and that's why I've put him in a thumbnail for the out thing we're still trying to get him under a long term deal his contract obviously is becoming a little bit thinner to the end um, so we're looking to extend that Brendan Rodgers says he's confident of keeping him at the club he thinks it's going to be done. He's quite. He thinks Armstrong is happy at Celtic, which is good to hear because, in my opinion, Armstrong is probably our best player when you put everything together. Uh, and the dogs just invaded the room. Hello, Banjo. I really apologise for the interruptions. Uh, it's quite annoying, but <laughs> not much I can do. Anyway, um, as I was saying, Stuart Armstrong apparently is quite happy at Celtic, so that's good to hear. Hopefully they do get this contract under wraps. He is vital to the team at the end of the day. One of our strongest players and this contract is probably very important, especially if we want to keep him and make his value go up and up and up so we can potentially and probably finally send him off at the end of the day whenever and wherever that may be. So, you know, we want to get the best for Celtic at the end of the day and this contract is the best for, for him, I would say, and for Celtic. So hopefully that gets wrapped up soon. And finally, the last thing to move up on to, Colo Turi has been offered a player coach role at the club, which is lovely to see because I really do like Colo Turi. And apparently he was very instrumental in kind of doing what he'd done last year behind the scenes for Celtic. So it'd be great to see him carry on, you know, coach the young uh, and get a bit of experience in for them. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, sorry if it was kind of short and rushed today. Um, I really did struggle to get this made in time. So... Yeah, it's, I kind of had to rush today to get this done. I'm so sorry about that. But we should be back stronger and better in the next video. For fans of the Red Bull, it was in career mode. It hasn't been out the last couple of days. Sorry, tomorrow that will be on. Don't worry. I'm not going to cancel that series four episodes in. Don't worry. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, hit like and subscribe. And for me, I'm Oni. I'll see you all next time.